While Dow Jones falls closer into the hands of Rupert Murdoch, Brad Greenspan is simultaneously trying to pull it away. The former CEO of MySpace's parent company launched a competing bid last week with an investment group. Brad joins me here with now with a closer look at his offer and the future of the digital realm's future. Nice to have you with us. Thanks, Maria. Thanks for, I love to be here. I'm glad you're here. Brad, let's first talk about what's going on today. The way the news reports are saying it, it looks like Rupert Murdoch is getting closer to acquiring the Wall Street Journal. Where does your bid stand? Well, you know, we have put out a proposal to the, uh, the family and the board, and I think they're looking at it with great interest, and we plan to meet with the board later this week, so that's a new development. And I think ultimately the Bancroft family and the other shareholders are going to take a hard look at other options before they, they move forward. Well, let's look at your bid. You want to buy 25% of Dow Jones, acquire one and a quarter billion dollars of stock. You want to pay $60, but only for 25%. If I'm a shareholder, why do I want to go with Brad Greenspan's deal of giving me $60 for 25 percent of my stock and not take sixty dollars for all of the stock well i think that if you sell your stock at sixty dollars you're giving up a bunch of upside and that's all the upside that you know news corp has identified that they're going to you know generate once they own the asset so my offer is really the best of all worlds that the investment group that, that, that we put together is, is putting out there it's people that want to sell some of their stock at a premium can do it and the other shareholders that are bullish on taking the dow jones assets and taking them into sort of online video and sort of a linear channel on broadcast can do that and and sharing the upside that we can generate. Tell me why you're attracted, your deal is attractive. You've got the Bancroft family watching, you've got shareholders watching. What do you want them to know about your bid on the table? Well, I think it, it satisfies everyone's uh, you know, situation here. The employees, it's, it's good for employees. Uh, it's good for the integrity of the, the Dow Jones and the Wall Street Journal. It keeps it independent, which I think is always good for, for the media world. And it gives everyone a chance, including the shareholders, most importantly, to share in the upside that we can generate. We're going to put $250 million back into the company and really leverage those online and uh, broadcast assets that, that haven't been done to date. And we think the company will be trade north of 60 once that's done over the next couple years. Why the Wall Street Journal, Brad? For a guy who started the new thing in the digital world, MySpace, everybody's talking about video now and social networking. Why do you want to own a newspaper company? Well, I, I think it's one of the best, you know, brands out there. You know, I grew up and got me sort of inspired to be in business by reading the Wall Street Journal. So to be able to be part of a group that can come in and help take that brand to the next level and sort of really go out and, and sort of wrap an online strategy around it, that's what I do best. And I think I can help, you know, unlock the hidden value for, for Dow Jones shareholders. I love the story that Rupert Murdoch is also considering selling MySpace now to take a 25% stake in Yahoo. How does it make you feel that Rupert Murdoch bought your company for $600 million and now he wants to sell it for $10 billion? <laughs> well, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was kicking and screaming at the time trying you know, not to sell it. I was one of the shareholders. I owned about 10% of the company at that point. And once again, I tried to put a deal together that put a, a, an investor group that would have let shareholders take some money off the table but keep MySpace public and share in all the upside. Shareholders would have made 40x, and that's a similar deal I'm pitching you know, today to the, the Bancroft family and the shareholders. And, and you sent letters, I know, to various executives saying, look, this property is going too cheaply. Let's do something. Let's keep MySpace public. You wanted to have MySpace as a public company. Exactly. Keep it public. I mean, that's why I have some credibility today. Not only did I start MySpace, but in 2005, I was the guy saying, hey, don't sell. This is going to be worth tens of billions of dollars. I sent emails like that while I was putting my investor group together to 50 media companies, investors. And so now they're all looking at uh, you know where I am today and, and saying, wow, you know, maybe there's something that makes sense with unlocking the value of Dow Jones. So you're also contacting other sh large investors, uh, uh, the Ron Burkles of the world, right, to, to come in on, in a consortium with you to try to uh, get Rupert out of the picture. Exactly. I've put together, you know, an investment group, and it, it's comprised of media entities and financial investors. You got you to tell me real quick what the next big thing is. You came up with MySpace, great idea, social networking. Where do you see the digital world playing out? Tell, tell me your view of I things. I think it's, it's online video and the convergence between, you know, television and video and everyone watching, essentially, video programming online, and that's why it fits perfectly with the Dow Jones and the Wall Street Journal. Let's create a great video channel leveraging the Wall Street Journal brand. Everybody Everybody will watch it. Brad, I know you have meetings with uh, with people in the Bancroft family, their, their advisors later on in the week. We hope you come back to update us on the situation. Definitely, Maria. Thanks so much. Thank Brad you. Greenspan here in the studio.